Hey there, Sunseekers. I'm so happy to have you here on the channel. I'm excited to bring you another amazing video from the Barcelo Bavaro Palace here in Putacana. You can see the beach behind me, and I'm excited to show you the entire resort. We've arrived in paradise, the beautiful Barcelo Bavaro Grand Resort here on Bavaro Beach. Up on the rooftop terrace here, wanted to provide as best an overhead view of the resort that I could. Trying my best not to fall into this amazing infinity pool. After a long day of travel, this is the moment you've been waiting for. You've finally arrived at the Barcelo Bavaro Palace. You're greeted by a team of bell people and porters. We're there to grab your luggage and help you ease into vacation. Also usually greeted with a warm drink, whether that's a rum punch or a pina colada. And as you make your way in, you can see just an absolutely stunning lobby, beautiful art, ceiling fans. You make your way in and on your left, you have your check-in area. So this is where you'll come, get yourself checked in. You'll get your wristband, which is also the key to your room for the week. And for that very upsetting day when you have to leave and go back to your reality, you have the checkout desk on the right in the main lobby. I'm just going to go for a bit of a walking tour of this area here so you can see lots of seating. Uh, I do notice that people do hang out in this space uh, throughout their vacation. Uh, if you're traveling with a big group, which we are, we've got 29 people that traveled the Sunny South vacations uh, this time, uh, this is a great meeting spot. Uh, so if you're looking to meet up for whether it's lunch or before dinner or to have a cocktail before dinner, uh, a lot of people do meet up in this space. So adjacent to the main check-in area, you have the premium level lounge. So if you are a guest staying in the premium level uh, at the resort, you can check in here. Hola, very friendly team will take care of you. I'm very well yourself. Good. So a very friendly team, as you can tell, will take care of you uh, and any of your needs if you're staying in the premium level. So guests staying in premium level, do check in here. So as you arrive, you can take a seat at one of these beautiful couches or sofa areas and they will come and uh, take your passports and get you checked in. Very, very smooth process while you ease into your vacation. They do have computers for internet access if you need it, as well as a printer if you need to print off some documents that perhaps you haven't printed yet. You've got some more seating on this side, some more traditional kitchen style tables and chairs. And this is a wonderful little touch uh, that I enjoy about the resort. So from seven till, till 12, you have some light snacks, some fruits, some breads set up for breakfasts. Then from one o'clock till five o'clock, they switch out these snacks and they have um, some more lunch, some more dinner types of snacks. You can get coffee as well. Uh, but throughout the day, you can also get drink service. They make fabulous uh, drinks in here if uh, you're looking to indulge. So this is the premium level lounge here at Barcelo Bavaro Palace. We'll head back out. The stairs right there will take you down to the lower level shopping center. But I wanna bring you back around and share with you some more of the spaces and more of the uh, services that are offered within the main lobby area. And more wonderful seating, different seating types as well, which I think is really cool. Lovely pillows, just beautiful decor. And up ahead here, so this is on the right side of the main lobby so as we came in and i looked to the to left and that was the check-in the right was the checkout. this is the concierge and guest services not sure if they're open just yet it doesn't look like they're open 
but uh, we'll just take a peek through the glass. Again, you can see lovely seating areas. Uh, this is where you come if you have any questions or need something as it relates to your trip. The guest services team can take care of you there. That's also where you can go and make dining reservations. If you go through the guest services area, you can access the internet center. So it's the same door. This internet center is open to all guests. So again, computers, there's printers in there if you need to print off some documents. This is the tours and transfers office. So if you're looking to book an excursion for your family, maybe a catamaran, um, or you need to book some private transfers back to the airport, this is where you'll find the friendly team that will help you with that. There are elevators uh, in most areas of the resorts, uh, of the resort. Um, this one, in this case, gets you from the upper level to the lower level. Um, we've been doing the stairs uh, just to get our steps in because we're spending a lot of time at the beach, so we got to get our steps in when the opportunity presents itself. Okay, off from the main lobby, you have a hallway that leads to some of the ballrooms. I'm not going to take you down there because the ballrooms are all closed, but the ballrooms are down to the right. Just off the main lobby, you have Carry, which is the lobby bar. And we'll just do a walk right down this hallway. I like to call this Restaurant Row. There's a couple uh, areas that I do call Restaurant Row. Uh, but it all starts with Carrie, which great piano player here in the evening time. Take you for a quick look. Hola. And when the piano player isn't here, the piano plays by itself. Just a great space to hang out. Again, this is the lobby bar. I love how they've got some seating around the piano as well. Two entrances as well. So we came in from the side entrance. They have another up front here as well and lots of available seating. And this is Carrie, the lobby bar. The beautiful grand piano. So we continue our walk, again more lovely seating, beautiful decor. We've got another internet center. This is a great little spot if you are a coffee lover or you appreciate uh, a beautiful rum and of course a cigar. So this is the coffee, rum and cigar bar. So this is an adults only space, 18 plus. So the resort supplies the rum and the coffee and they have a wonderful local vendor that comes and sets up just outside this space. I'll pan around, you can see the front entranceway. So they'll set up shop right out there at that table and they bring an assortment of cigars that you can choose from. And then you can come into this space, enjoy a lovely rum and a cigar, or you can just come here and sit. So coffee and rum will be served indoors. And as I pan around, they have a team that will come out here, set up at that table, and offer you a nice variety of cigars for you to enjoy. Straight ahead, you can see the window into the Santa Fe Steakhouse. Again, you can start to see why I call this restaurant row. So on our right is the entrance way to the Italian restaurant, La Dolce Vita certainly makes you feel like a movie star as you arrive with the lights, the red carpet. It's a great photo opportunity. So if you're an Instagrammer, here we are in La Dolce Vita. This is a wonderful Italian restaurant here at the resort. 
makes you feel like an absolute movie star with the lights and the black and white decor. Absolutely love it. Got a little anti-pasta bar at the beginning of dinner. Lots of available seating. Again, the decor just makes you feel like an absolute movie star. Love the chandeliers. Come back around. And straight ahead, as we head towards the entrance again, you can see a wonderful bar. The bartenders are awesome, serving wonderful drinks. This is La Dolce Vita, the Italian restaurant. I ordered the gnocchi at La Dolce Vita. It's fantastic. As we come over to our left, we have the entranceway to the beautiful Santa Fe Steakhouse. Just gonna take a look at Santa Fe. This is the steakhouse here at Barcelo Bavaro Palace. Lots of wonderful seating. Can definitely accommodate large groups or large families. So you can see more seating on this side. There's also the option to eat outside if you wish. Come down through here and you can see that the seating continues. Definitely has a great steakhouse feel to it, steakhouse decor. Gonna take you down over here, see a little bit more of the restaurant. Had a lovely Santa Fe steak dinner here a couple of nights ago. This is the Santa Fe Steakhouse here at Barcelo Bavaro Palace. I'm gonna head back now to the main lobby and I will show you the lower level uh, restaurant row. Now I'm gonna make my way down the stairs. You can see the front reception there. Down the stairs from level two down to level one. This is where you will find the shopping center and you will have access to, again, in what I call, again, restaurant row. So you have some more of the restaurants down here. And of course, the beautiful pools and the oceans are ahead. So this is another area of the resort where you will find all the restaurants. And I should note that reservations are required for all the restaurants. Uh, premium level guests have the opportunity to make uh, restaurant reservations in advance of arrival whereas other guests, I recommend that you make them on your first day if you can. So go to guest services or the concierge and make those reservations on day one and you can enjoy their fabulous restaurants here. So we're just passing by Kyoto, which is the Japanese sushi and tapenyaki restaurant. This right here is the entranceway to both Kyoto as well as the Mexican restaurant. So you're gonna enter through these doors. The entranceway to Mexico Lindo and Kyoto, the Japanese restaurant, is through the, a common bar area. Barten uh, these bartenders make fantastic drinks, have the most excellent rum punch. Ah. And now we are gonna come into Mexico Lindo. And we're going to take a look at the Mexican restaurant. Some amazing seats around the grill. It's a beautiful place to come and have a wonderful Mexican meal. Lots of seating, as you can see. This is another look at Mexico Lindo. They're just getting the restaurant prepared for dinner tonight. All the staff hard at work. 
Hola, amigo. And as we walk across, we go through the main reception area again, or at least the entryway to the restaurants. And now we come into Kyoto, which is the Japanese tapenyaki and sushi bar. See, got tables and chairs set up on one side. That's for the Japanese cuisine and the sushi. And then we come over on the other side and you can see all the tapenyaki and hibachi tables all set up. Again, this is just before dinner time. So the staff is working hard to get everything set up and prepared. A couple other tapenyaki tables here in the middle. <clears throat> Had a wonderful meal here the other night. Lots of fun. The cooks and the chefs are absolutely fantastic. Put on a great show as well. And that's a look at Kyoto, the Japanese restaurant here at Barcelo Bavaro Palace. As we continue the walk, we do get into the entranceway for the Miramar buffet. So this is international cuisine. And one thing I wanted to highlight uh, about the buffet here is that you have wonderful indoor and outdoor seating options. So if it's a beautiful day outside and you want to enjoy that ocean breeze, you can do that at the outdoor patio. Or if you prefer to sit inside, maybe get away from the heat for a little bit, you can choose to do that as well. There is indoor seating. take you for a quick peek through the glass and you can see wonderful indoor seating available at Miramar and the buffet Miramar is mirrored over on the other side for the boyo uh, again it's Dominican cuisine however the setup is very similar you've got both indoor and outdoor seating I walk back down this hallway and I'm going to take you down the other one which I had mentioned has the French restaurant the Spanish restaurant, as well as the sports bar, bowling center, casino, and disco. Okay, just as a reference point, you can see the stairs to the left. And I'm gonna pan around and take you for a walk past the Spanish, French restaurants. So this is, this is, this becomes a bit of a hub at night as well of activity. It's a lot busier in the evening time. La Fuente is the Spanish restaurant. I'm gonna take you in there momentarily. Really like how they have the menu set up outside all the restaurants as well, so you can check those out during the day. I know my wife likes to do that, likes to plan what she's gonna have for dinner during the day. Just love the wine barrel <clears throat> decor. Beautiful bar and lounge area. And then of course, I'm gonna bring you around here into the main seating area. Again, you can see the theme here with these restaurants. They're just all lovely setups. Just beautiful decor, tablecloths, unique seating. It's the private wine lounge over there. You can rent that room for a private dinner if you'd like. This is La Fuente, the Spanish restaurant here at the resort. Take you back out towards the bar and lounge area. You'll enjoy a wonderful meal here at La Fuente. Beautiful entranceway, lovely outdoor seating area as well. As we continue to walk along, we are going to get to the entranceway of La Comedie which is the French cuisine restaurant here. Welcome to Le Comedie. This is the French restaurant at the Barcelo Bavaro Palace. Beautiful restaurant, lovely French cuisine. You'll love your dinner here. 
And we're about to go into the French restaurant, La Comédie. We head in. I just love the decor in here. This is inspired by the Notre Dame in Paris. You can see with the marionettes and the puppets. Just a beautiful space in here. So this is included for premium level guests, but it is open to everyone else. Uh, small little surcharge if you'd like to dine here. Again, <laughs> I'm just blown away by the decor. Lovely tablecloths. Marionettes are very cool. So there is seating times here, uh, and, it, and it might vary when you're at the, at the resort uh, right now. There is a 645 seating. There's a 715, 745. Children are allowed, um, but not after 830. So you need to have your dining time before that when this becomes an adult only restaurant after 830. Looking forward to coming here in a couple of nights to enjoy. And as we continue to walk along here to the right, you can see the casino and the disco. I will circle back and show you that. But now on our left, you can start to see some of the outdoor seating area for the Stryker Sports Bar and Grill. And this is a great spot if you're looking to catch the game, have a casual beer or beverage snack with some friends. We are at the Stryker Sports Bar, gonna take you for a little look around. They are just getting everything set up. Got the buffet in the distance. That is a late night buffet as well, so if you are craving a late night snack, you're gonna to wanna to come to the Stryker Sports Bar. Lots of televisions all around, always playing your favorite game. Take you over to the buffet, you can see the wonderful food options that they have available here. And those food options will change throughout the day. This is the bar area. Wonderful bartenders will take care of your needs. Whatever drink you want, they can make for you. I absolutely love this space that we're gonna walk into in a second here. So if there's a big game, you can come into the lounge here where you've got theater seats. And you can, what a way to watch the big game on the big screen. This is Strikers. And connected to the Striker Sports Bar and Lounge is you have the game zone. So if you're looking to play some pool, they've got six tables in here. I believe it's $8 an hour. You can rent a table and play as many games as you'd like with your friends. And this is the game zone. This is just off Strikers Sports Bar and Lounge. And I'll continue to make my way down the hallway and you can start to see the bowling center. Right. We are now going to enter into the bowling center. Gracias. So as you walk in, you can see they've got a four lane bowling alley, arcade games down here. So the bowling alley is open from 9 a.m. till midnight. It's $15 per bowler, uh, but they do have a special from 10 o'clock to five o'clock. Uh, you're gonna play two for one. So again, great four lane bowling alley here. This is 10 pin bowling, but they do have the assistance for the little ones that might not be able to carry or hold a 10 pin bowling ball. And I'll take you for a little look at the arcade games as well. So you've got your air hockey, little pop a shot. These are really fun interactive games, a little ski ball there. So you can purchase tokens at the uh, entrance of the bowling center. And all of these games offer tickets. So the better you perform at these games, you're gonna earn tickets that you can then come back and redeem for a prize. I will show you the prizing center in a moment. And around, it's a great look at the bowling center. 
Again, I mentioned those little assistants that uh, will help your, your children if they can't hold the 10 pound or the, the 10 pin ball. So this is where you'll come in and you will pay to play. This is where you'll also get your tokens. And one thing I really love is the addition of the gaming center here. So if you've got a gamer in the family and they're missing their favorite system or their favorite game, they can come here for $4 an hour and play one of their favorite video games. Pan back around one last time for you to take a look at the bowling center here at Barcelo Bavaro Palace. I'm gonna walk back down this hallway here. So everything that we just saw is now on our right, but I wanted to show you what we also have on the left side. Well, on the left side, across from Strikers, you have Disco Bavaro, as well as Casino Bavaro. So the casino bar area opens around six o'clock. I'm gonna sneak in there right now. Uh, they are cleaning it from uh, probably a wonderful evening many guests had. This is a great uh, bar area here, the Blackjack Bar. You can see beautiful grand piano. At the center of the room, they have wonderful piano players here. Lots of lounge seating. This does become a bit of a lively atmosphere in the evening. You've got some of your favorite slot machines within the bar itself. And I would love to take you to the casino, but it is quite dark right now. But uh, just this gives you a little bit of a look. So it is a circular room. You've got a lot of your slot machines on the periphery. And then on the inside, you have your table games. So you've got poker, roulette, and blackjack. And as I pan back around, you can see the blackjack bar, the amazing staff hard at work, and those are the doors to get into the disco. Highly recommend if you're spending a week at the resort, come here, enjoy the amazing piano player, have a lovely cocktail. And just off the main lobby area is one of the biggest theater spaces I've ever seen. This is amazing. Some great shows in here. At the Grand Teatro Bavaro. You can see lots of seating, all sorts of different types too. Elevated seating up here. You've got a bit more as well. And you can even see, they've got some seating up above as well. Lots of space for everyone at the resort to enjoy an amazing show at the theater. Lots of great experiences you can have here at the Barcelona Bavaro Palace. One thing I'm looking forward to is a massage at the U Spa. Let's check it out. Spa. So this is the front desk. Very helpful staff. We'll check you in. You come through the doorway here. To the left, where all the treatment rooms are, and then down this hallway here is where you will have both the men's and women's changing areas. And we're going to enter into the men's changing area here. Don't worry, it's not open yet. So this is where the men's change area is, but it's also the entrance to the hydrotherapy lounge. We've got a sauna and the Turkish bath. In here, let's take you for a quick look at the change room area and lots of lockers, showers, and the washroom area. So, men and women do have separate Turkish bath and sauna areas, but if you are looking to enjoy the hydrotherapy lounge and spa with your partner, this is the uh, communal space that you can enjoy. So you've got the hot and cold tub right there, another Turkish bath in the distance. And I really love these. These are therapy showers, really neat. So these are all different temperatures of water, all set to help you have the most relaxing time. The water comes from all different parts of the world. 
and it actually all comes out uh, with different uh, degrees of pace. So some will just trickle out like a rain shower and some will be a little bit more powerful. Lots of lovely seating. You can totally appreciate the view that you have here. So the hydrotherapy spa is available to anybody that books a spa treatment. And it is also available for 45 minutes each day to guests staying in the premium level. Again, we just had a little bit of a rain shower, so that's why the uh, area is a little damp. But you've got an amazing infinity pool. Again, and this is only accessible to people that have a spa treatment or are in the premium level. And they can come in here for 45 minutes a day to enjoy the hydrotherapy spa. You can just see over here under that little palapa, you've got a jacuzzi with the jets going. It's lovely. And I really love these, these little loungers with little tables in the water. I'll come back around. It is quite sunny, but you can just see that infinity ledge. And in the distance, you've got the pool as well as the ocean. Take you back in to look at the indoor area of the hydrotherapy spa one last time. An amazing way to enhance your stay at the resort is to take advantage of this beautiful spa space, the hydrotherapy spa. All right, we're gonna go into one of the beautiful treatment rooms here. This is where you can come and enjoy a massage with your partner. So this is one of the double rooms here. One of the special treatments that they do here is the romantic es escapade. Um, this is where you'll come in with your partner, have a facial, have a foot massage and pedicure. You can see they've got the station set up for that as here as well. And then of course, that'll be followed by a 50 minute massage of your choice. They've got shower facilities in here as well. So if you want to clean up before or after your massage, you can do that. And then after your massage, and I absolutely love this, a little private terrace, a little plunge pool. You can come out and enjoy this private space with your partner, two loungers. We just had a little rain shower here. So I might not go right outside, but again, a beautiful plunge pool here that you can enjoy after a romantic massage spa experience with your partner. Take you back into the room. You've got the shower, two chairs, beautiful bottle of champagne, pedicure station, the lovely massage tables. You can have a lovely romantic time here in the romantic escapade at the U Spa. Just beautiful. And just outside of the therapy area, which you can see there, I'll pan around. You're gonna come into the relaxation yeah. area. And then of course, after your treatment, you come back here and they put um, some aromatherapy, um, spices and what have you around your neck and shoulder area to really give you an amazing experience here at the spa. And it all bring you back outside. There's the treatment area. I'd like to show you, so this is right near the entrance as well. This is the beauty center. And here's where you get manicures, pedicures. You can also, for the ladies, you can also get your hair done. Hey there, Sun Seekers. If you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate the support. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I love doing these. I love doing these for you. I love it so that you can know before you go. You can see resorts, you can see cruise ships. So please hit the like button. 
the subscribe and the notification bell. It really helps me out so that I can help you out. Thank you so much. We are just standing on the bridge that goes over top of the east side pool. We are looking at Tiano Pool Bar. Uh, and on your left, you have one of two buffets. This is Boyo, which is the Dominican buffet restaurant here at Barcelo Bavaro Palace. We'll pan back, you'll see Tiano, the pool bar. And on your right, you have Miramar, which is the international cuisine buffet here at the resort. So you've got two options. Up above, you've got Santa Fe, which is sometimes open for buffet uh, lunch and breakfast. Pan back. And above the Boyo is where you have Corral. So that is the seafood a la carte restaurant. But that is also open for breakfast and lunch buffet for premium guests only. Hey there, Sun Seekers. I just sat down to have some breakfast here at Corral this morning. Look at that amazing view behind me. I'm looking forward to having a wonderful breakfast and again, enjoying this amazing view in Punta Cana. This is the beautiful entranceway to Corral. This is the seafood restaurant. So this is the seafood a la carte restaurant in the evening time. But for breakfast and lunch, guests staying in the premium level can come here and have a lovely buffet breakfast or lunch. Lots of beautiful indoor seating and outdoor seating. We'll take you out there in a moment. So pant across and take you for a quick little look at the buffet area. Again, this is a private buffet area for breakfast and lunch for guests staying in the premium level, as well as my Barcelo club members. There's a few people in here getting their breakfast. This is another look at the whole restaurant space. And now I am going to head to the beautiful terrace area and show you an amazing table where you can have breakfast, lunch, or in the evening, a lovely seafood dinner with family. So if you're at Corral for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and you'd like to enjoy the beautiful outdoors, you can do that. So I mentioned we just got a little bit of a rain shower, so they had to remove the place settings on the tables. But just an absolutely beautiful view. Outdoors at the Corral, you can see the beautiful beach all the loungers, the pool. Now oh, they've got a lovely table set up for me. I'm gonna go sit down. This has gotta be one of the best views at the resort. This is a wonderful table they got set up for me for this morning for my breakfast. Lovely play settings, some fruit to get started. I'm excited to have an amazing breakfast here. Since I'm here, I'll just continue Got a beautiful shot of the East Pool. Lots of lounge chairs. Got a little training center there for scuba diving. Got some lovely chaise lounges in the water as well with tables. I think that's really convenient to have some tables there so you can keep yourself hydrated. Just on the other side of the bridge, you can see a continuation of the East Pool and lots of lounge chairs, lots of shade as well, which is very convenient. Kids love those little fountains. And of course, the, the bigger fountain in the middle. I'm gonna take you over to see a bit more of the resort. So you have this lovely walkway that separates what I've been calling the East Pool and the West Pool. We've already taken a look at the East Pool. Let's take a look at the West. So again, nice large pool. You got the chaise lounges both in the water and surrounding the perimeter. I know I can't say this enough, but I absolutely love the fact that they put shade over a lot of these chairs. You get to so many resorts and they have a lovely pool, but there is zero shade. But Barcelo Bavaro Grand's got it right. They've got shade. 
We'll take a quick look, walk around the pool a little bit. You can see how close it is to the ocean, which is great. You know, if you want to spend some time at both, you don't have to go from one end of the resort to the next. You literally can get out of the ocean and be a few steps away from the beach, or sorry, the pool. And I'd also like to show how close the pool and the beach is from the main lobby, which is straight up ahead there. You can see those glass windows. That is the entrance way to both the shopping center uh, on the lower level, as well as the main lobby. So you've got your lounges up there, your internet cafe, guest services, as co of course, the front desk where you've checked in. Take a little walk around the pool. Beautiful gardens. And now coming around, you can start to see the infinity pool, uh, which is straight ahead there, uh, which is part of the spa. Let's take a quick look at these chaise lounge by the pools with the shaded area. Love the little canopy over top. Again, provides you some protection from the sun. It's a hot Dominican sun, trust me. We're here in March and uh, it's very warm, but uh, for anyone that's coming from a cold weather climate, uh, the warmth is very welcome. It's a little early in the morning right now, so you can see the team here at the resort is busy cleaning, getting other, everything set up for the guests today. They do a wonderful job keeping the resort in beautiful shape. I want to take you for a quick peek at the Coco Bar. So this is your swim up bar here at the resort. Not open just yet, but nice big pool bar. So if you're a pool bar person, this is going to be a great space for you to stay. And again, shade. Of this tiki hut provides a ton of shade. If you're not looking to grab a drink from the pool bar, there is a bar on the opposite side as well. So if you're at the beach or maybe you're just in a lounge chair, you've got the second side of the cocoa bar. And another pool space they have available here this is the sport pool or what they call the Olympic pool. So you can see we have some water polo nets on either side right now. This is also where they can do pool volleyball and you can see they've also got lanes set up. Uh, so if you wanna get some laps in in the morning, you can do that at the activity or sport pool here at the resort. I'm gonna keep walking and keep talking for you. Come up over the stairs that separates the sport pool and the west pool. You can start to see the pool from a different vantage point. And as I come down the stairs, you're gonna see a wonderful jacuzzi. So yes, the jacuzzi is just off from the main pool. We got the jets going and you have a wonderful time there. Over here, we're getting a closer look at the infinity pool and the hydrotherapy area of the spa of the u spa try and get you a better look so you can see the nice infinity pool jets and fountains you've got those wonderful chaise lounges both in the water and on the ground jacuzzi tub And of course, the entrance way back into the spa is there. Oh, looks like someone lost their floaty. So I've almost done a full walk around of the West Pool. And another look at the Coco Pool Bar.
You can tell it's going to be a great day here. The sun is rising. It's not too windy. I'm looking forward to some time at the beach with the family. And then I'm pretty certain my daughter's going to want to spend some time at the uh, Pirates Island water park this afternoon. And up ahead, we have El Cielo Pool Bar. This is an adults only uh, pool and bar area. Again, this is just to the east side of the main building. It's right in front of building five. So again, on the east side of the resort, you can see that sunlight peeking through the palms. Just a beautiful pool here. Take you for a look. Hopefully I don't fall in. You've got some loungers in the water with little tables, loungers and day beds all around. I love those day beds. They're co covered with a couple of palapas. Straight ahead, you've got the bar. Love these little fountains. You rack around. Nice big pool. A couple tables in the middle. Let's take a look at those day beds. Nice little shady spot, so if you're looking to get away from the shade for a day, you can uh, think about renting one of these. They are available for rent for the day. Uh, you do need to make advanced reservations. Bring you around the entire pool space here, get a quick look at the pool bar. This is, um, one of the only bars on the east side of the resort, um, east of the pools. Um, so if you are uh, using the beach towards the east, east side, uh, this is probably where you're going to go to grab yourself a beverage. Not set up, it's a little early morning at the moment, but there's a great bar, great bartenders here. And this is at El Cielo. We're taking the walking path from uh, building five down onto the beach. I'll pan down towards the sun. You can see the, bet the beach just stretches for miles. I believe it's actually two kilometers of beach here at the resort. So that's the far east side. I'm gonna come around and we'll walk the beach. You can see there's tons and tons of loungers beautiful turquoise water. It's a little windy this morning, so we got a few more waves than normal, but um, not, not overwhelming at all. We've got lots of palm trees, both tall, large ones, and some smaller ones. Those smaller palm trees are going to provide some great shade during the day. So if you're looking for some shade on your beach day, try and get near one of these smaller, uh, less mature palm trees to provide that shade for you. Coming up on our left, you have the activities hut. So this is where you'll go if you're looking to do some scuba diving or you want to rent some of the non-motorized Boats, like Hobie Cats, pedal boards, things like that. You can also, uh, if you're looking to get out on one of the motorized uh, boats, whether you want to do uh, a banana boat or hop in one of their other inflatables, you can come here and do that as well. This is at the diving center. There's also some shops down that hallway, so if you've forgotten something, whether it's some sunscreen or you want a sun shirt, you can uh, pick that up there. And you can see all of the windsurfers, paddle boards that they have available to you here. And I'm just going to continue walking along so you can see as much of the beach as possible. 
see a lovely gazebo. They do some weddings there. Haven't seen one yet this week, but that's what they do. Also got a little sports area here as well. You can play some beach soccer or some beach volleyball. You got your Hobie cats. Today might be a tricky day to get out there if you're not a seasoned sailor or know what you're doing. Maybe you want to get uh, one of the staff here to get out there with you and help you out. You can see all the, the boats and all the non-motorized fun that you can have. Got some great beach volleyball courts. Coming up ahead of us, you've got uh, the entertainment hut. So this is where they will do merengue and salsa lessons. Let's quickly take a look past the gazebo. That is the main lobby. If you walk straight through that gazebo and you will get right into the main lobby, the main reception of the resort. I'm going to keep walking as, along this beach, showing you everything that I can. Again, if you're, uh, if you, if you like long walks on the beach, or that's a requirement for your vacation, is a nice long beach that you can walk along. This is an excellent one. As I said, it stretches for miles. It's about two kilometers. see lots of chairs as well um, and you don't need to race down here to get them. I'm filming this at around 7 in the morning so I can see some of the staff uh, still out uh, doing some cleaning but uh, again 7 o'clock it's not I mean some people are out here but not many. This is another great spot right here we'll take you for a quick peek so if you're looking to get a massage maybe a couple's massage down at the beach You've got a nice tiki hut, private area where you can get a massage done with those waves creating the soundtrack for a beautiful, restful and relaxing massage. Just more beach, more beach and more beach, lots of chairs, palm trees are just beautiful. So now we're on what I would call, say, is the west side of the resort. So you're seeing here we've got buildings one, two, three, and four. These are where you'll have your, delu or your deluxe junior suite rooms, as well as your deluxe family suite premium levels are in some of these buildings here. You've got your oceanfront rooms as well. I got about five minutes worth of beach video here. It's gonna pan back around one last time. And I've only done about half of the beach here. But you get the idea. Beautiful white powdery sand. Just an awesome heat beach. Bavaro Beach can't be beat. It's beautiful. We're walking from the main resort building towards the water parks and the family club section of the resort. You can see the Barcy water park just kind of appearing through the walkway here. It's gonna take a tour of that water park. It's not up and running just yet, um, but we'll get you a nice clean view of the water park. And if we have the opportunity, I'm gonna get my daughter to uh, take you on a run through the water park. Located within the family club section of the Barcelo Bavaro Palace, you have the Barsi Water Park. Lots of little slides, ocean beach theme activities for the kids to do and run around and splash and have a great time. Pirate theme here. You come around, you can see some more of the slides. That you can enjoy. For your convenience, there also is a bar area where you can grab a cold beverage. 
as your kids enjoy the splash pad or this water park here. This is the Barcy Water Park. There are three water parks here. Well, let's call it two water parks and one splash pad. So this is the Barcy Water Park. This is located within the family club and this is included in your stay at the Barcelo Bavaro Palace. They also have the Kitty Splash Pad, which is located near the ocean and the main pool areas. And they also have the Pirates Island Water Park, which is included for guests staying in premium level. Uh, or for guests that are not staying in premium level, you can access the Pirates Island Water Park for a fee. Right now that fee is $10.50, uh, but do note that uh, depending on when you're watching this video, that fee can change. Let's look back at some of the Barcy Water Park here. And you've got a rather large slide right here. I know the kids really enjoy. You can uh, do some races on these slides as well. So I'll stop here for a moment. And again, I'll just show you. So the, the rooms, the family rooms are very, very close. Lots of loungers. They're all covered by this beautiful canopy as well. In the distance there, you have a towel hut. So if you need to replenish your towels, get some dry ones, you can do that. You got a nice little spiral slide. And we've done the full circle around the Barcy Water Park. Your kids will enjoy it. I know my daughter's gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna try and have my daughter take a video for you of her going up and down the slides and just having a great time at the Barcy Water Park. This is the Pirates Island Water Park. This is the second water park available here at the Barcelo Bavaro Palace. Take a quick look, you've got this awesome pirate ship. The kids are gonna love climbing up the stairs and racing down the tube slides as well as the two spiral slides. You've got a dumping bucket up ahead. If you're looking to cool off, that might be where you wanna go. Take you for a quick perimeter walk around the Pirates Island water park. So you can see it from a couple of different angles. Lots of lounge seating. You've got a uh, canopy cover as well for shade. Come around, you can see that amazing pirate ship come into view again. The two sp uh, spiral slides, the tube slides. If you're a regular sun seeker and viewer of my channel, you do know I've been here before. Uh, I shot a video a couple years ago so if you want to see another video of the Pirates Island Water Park, I suggest you go through my channel. You'll find it there. You'll also see the other water park, which is the Barcy Water Park, where I take you right up onto the ship. You can get a look at what that's like from there. More lounge seating as we make our way to the back side of the pirate ship. You can see that beautiful Dominican sun is rising. As we continue to walk along, you can see some more pool and water space emerge. So this is a zero entry wave pool. So lots of fun coming off of the back of the pirate ship is the wave pool with the zero entry, zero level entry and many more lounge seats. So this was a quick look at the Pirates Island Water Park. I will note that the Pirates Island Water Park is available to guests staying in the premium level. Um, they can access this as many times as they would like throughout their stay. For guests not staying in the premium level, you can still access the water park. There is a supplemental fee to do that. Uh, at the time of filming, that fee is $10.50 US, uh, but please note that that could change at any time without notice. 
But uh, again, as of filming, that surcharge is 1050 US per person. It's another look, the amazing pirate ship here at Pirates Island Water Park. Now, just off the side of the Dominican Buffet, we have a, a smaller water park for your littlest travelers. So this is probably for your toddlers, uh, as well as the children that are still probably in swim diapers. They've got a neat little space that they can come splash around. Water's not deep at all, just probably up to their knees. A little slide on one side, slide on the other some dumping buckets, little tree house that they can climb into, and a little crock that they can sit on and have fun. This is the littlest Barsi water park here at the Barcelo Bavaro Palace. Lots of seating as well, so if you're coming here to watch your children splash around, Lots of seating, all covered as well. Great little splash park for your littlest travelers. This is a great activity center for your children or those of you that are young at heart. They've got the Pirates Island water park. They've got the mini golf. We've got a chipping green as well. Gonna head in and take a look. All right, I might not walk the full 18 holes, but uh, definitely take you for a little look at the mini golf course here. Lovely gardens everywhere you walk. Birds are chirping, it's a beautiful day. Here in Punta Cana. This is the 18th hole. And lovely pond. Hopefully you don't put your ball in the, in the pond. This is the first hole. And just a lovely setup here. This is right close to the Pirates Island Water Park. You can kind of see that just underneath the uh, thatched roof there. The Barcy Water Park is nearby as well. This is hole two. Trying my luck at the mini putt. See how I do. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, oh. 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 so close. I'm much better at mini golf than I am at real golf. So again, if you're looking to get a little, you know, a little break from the pool, break from the ocean, kids are looking to have a fun activity, bring them here. The mini golf is included. There's no extra cost here. So you can come and enjoy a round of mini golf or as many rounds of mini golf as you'd like. And now we're gonna head to the chipping green area. This is the chipping center. So you've got a little tee block here and a few pin flags set up as targets you can work on your short game. Right, one of the great things about the resort here, beyond the beach and the pools and the sun and the sand, if you're looking for some activities, they've got an escape room here. This is the entrance way. They've got three rooms. Take a look at those there. We've got Temple of Secrets, Jungle Diamonds, and Blackbeard's Revenge. These are the session times that you can book. I recommend booking 24 hours in advance if you can. The escape room experience is $30 per person. Rooms. This is the Lost Temple. So if you're looking to have an escape room experience with some friends, with some family, you can do that here. See if you can find some of the clues. This is the Lost Temple room. All right, we've now made our way over from the main lobby and the main portion of the resort. Now we're on the golf course side. 
So this is uh, a little desk for guest assistance. If you need some assistance in your room, maybe you have a superior room or a family duplex, which is in this area, you can get some assistance there. This is, uh, again, we're, we're right next to the golf course. So you've got the pro shop or the golf shop. You've got the a la carte restaurant, Hoya 19. Wonderful restaurant. I think that's a bit of a hidden gem. I don't think a lot of people, maybe if you're not into golf, you don't make your way over here. So a lot of people don't really realize that there is another a la carte restaurant here that you can enjoy as well. Hoya 19, highly recommend you come and check it out. And last time I was here, I did get out and golf. I'm not gonna do that this time, but I did wanna quickly take you for a quick look at the golf course. You can see just beautifully manicured lounge grounds. This is called the Lakes. This is a PB Dye golf course. That was the putting green there. Got a few people in our group are gonna be going out today to play a round of golf. Just a beautiful golf course. Come back around. And again, this is just a lovely little lobby area. If you're staying on this side of the resort, guest services right there. And a lo lovely lounge area with the restaurant, Hoya 19, and the golf shop. While I'm up by the family duplex, I thought I'd just show you another little look at the golf course, any chance I can get to show you how beautiful this golf course is, I will do that. It's called The Lakes. It's a PB Dye design golf course. So if you're a golfer, you're gonna have a great time at the resort. Hey there, Sun Seekers. If you're enjoying this video and you wanna see more content like this on the channel, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It does so much for the channel and I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching. And drop a few comments in there. I'd love to know what you think of the videos. I'd love to know what you think of this video. Really appreciate you, Sun Seekers.